Hello friends, today I am going to discuss an advanced lecture on tabulation. Today we are going to learn that how to create a continuous or discrete frequency distribution when I have numbers with me. That means if you see there are four variables now in my data set. I have a gender, education, resident, resident that means the particular area in which the person is residing in and the age. Age is numerical in nature. Now, I just want to count that in uh, you know uh, what age and how many people are there in what which particular age category so i can do it two ways uh, you know this this becomes a little kind of uh, difficult thing to do because every time you have to count everything out so i'm going to discuss uh, that uh, how to create a discrete frequency distribution and how to create a continuous frequency distribution and i'll be discussing two methods one is through pivot table which is incredibly fast probability of error is very low and uh, I'll also be discussing it manually. I'll be discussing advantages and disadvantages of both of them. So right now I'm going to discuss uh, how to create a frequency distribution by using a pivot table tool. So uh, I've already named this particular column as age. I can go to drop down and check age. Yes, it is perfectly named. So you can uh, refer to my previous video, how to name a particular column. Now I'm going to, of course, put my cursor in the pivot table, which is the first requirement to invoke the pivot table. And I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, shortcut Alt and V. If you're using Excel 2007, it will be Alt and V T. So it is right now taking the whole range. That's not a problem for me. I'm going to do my table on existing worksheet. I'm going to give it a location. Let's say in this cell. So these are pretty easy steps which you have followed if you referred my previous videos. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold age drag and drop it to rows when the screen line appears and i'm going to hold age and drag and drop it to values again now uh, there is one problem it is showing me sum of age that means 20 uh, if i talk about 20 years of age then it is summing up age of all the people who are falling in this particular category so this is this problem can be easily fixed you just have to right click and you have to go to summarize values by and you just have to click on count it immediately gives you the frequency and this is a discrete arrangement if you uh, are realizing uh, this is a discrete arrangement that means every unique value in the age category is listed and frequency is marked against it now i want to represent this table through this uh, tabulation through continuous frequency distribution just have to do, go to write right click in any of uh, the cells of the pivot table and i have to click on group so it shows me this dialog box which shows me that it is going to start the classes with 20 and it is going to end the whole count uh, means the upper class of the last class at 70 it's going to group it by 10 you can change these values as per your need but right now i'm leaving them default and click ok and uh, look how intelligently it places all the values in place this is a continuous frequency distribution and this is inclusive type why inclusive because upper limit of each class is included. That means someone of the age 29 years is going to fall into class 1. I can rename them. I can type in classes and I can type in uh, frequency. And in fact, age seems a more relevant name to me. And uh, you can do a lot of things with pivot table. You can right click and you can go to show values as, as and you can click on percentage of column total it shows you the percentage immediately that what 19.67 uh, percentage people of people are in this age category 17.67 percent people are in the age category 40 to 49 but it has its own limitation that it creates an inclusive type of interval so uh, now i'm going to discuss that how to create uh, this particular type of uh, distribution uh, manually by using the formula which is my uh, favorite uh, method to do the things i'll be discussing one or two formulas here so there are the formulas i hope you can see them so uh, the biggest challenge is that out of this data set of 300 uh, how many classes i should make how many classes so yes um, pivot tables make it default four classes or five classes whatever it is but the right way to do is always the number of classes shall be equal to this particular formula which is 1 plus 3.322 times log n and n represents the count so in this particular case the count is 300 this formula is given by the mathematician called Sturge so this is called Sturge formula to calculate number of classes to be performed and what is supposed to be the class width that is supposed to be equal to range divided by number of classes 
So I'm going to use these two formulas here and I'm going to create a manual uh, continuous frequency distribution. So I need minimum because I, 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 I will be using minimum at two places. So I start with is equal to m i and min. And since I have already given uh, my variable age a name called age, so I'm going to press my F3 key, double click on age and I say enter. So minimum is 20 and uh, then I'm going to calculate maximum. So direct function in Excel is max and I can start typing in straight. So max of age and you can leave the bracket open if the formula is too simple. That's not a problem. Now I'm going to use my count function and I'll see that how many entries are there in age. So I'm going to scroll down to age, press tab and it is showing me 300. Everybody knows the formula of range. It is going to be maximum minus minimum. So I have used maximum minimum at first place in order to calculate range. Now when I want to calculate number of classes, then the formula applied is is equal to 1 plus 3.3. 3 2 2 times log log function appears you can use tab key and it is saying capital capital n is count so i carefully select this particular cell close the bracket and it is giving me a figure called 9.2289681 so it is giving me that approximately i have to make these many classes so i should use round function so it gives me a, a you know feasible figure so i'm going to uh, highlight the formula once again in the cell itself or you can use it in formula bar right here where my cursor is so let me do it in cell so i'm going to use my round function and i'm going to round it to zero values after decimal so moment i click enter it shows me nine that means i should make nine classes now uh, I, I just want to check out what is supposed to be the class width. So class width is going to be range that is right here in this cell V5 divided by number of classes which are 9. So if I hit enter it says, says me 5.555556. So yes you are right I am going to use my round function again. You can use round up, round down but I always prefer Excel to use its own intelligence to round up or round down and zero and I say okay so this zero I hope you are clear about that shows me exact number that means no no places after decimal so uh, I am clear about that I have to create nine classes and class width is supposed to be six now here I'm going to use this minimum value once again so lower class should start from 20 and my upper class is going to be equal to my lower class plus my class width and I'm going to use it throughout so I'm going to freeze it by using my F4 key so that is it first class is going to be 20 to 26 and the next class is going to be is equal to starting from 26 that's it and this class is going to be 26 plus the class width and I'm going to freeze it again so now uh, once you do this particular formula I would suggest that do once you are making the classes do the formula at least in two classes because then Excel understands the pattern better in this particular case. Now you can select both the cells you can bring this fill handle the black plus cursor you can draw it drag and drop it down and look it is creating the class widths of 6 intervals each 20 to 26, 26 to 32, 32 to 38. Now where do I need maximum? I need maximum by 74. Why? Because my maximum is 70. So this is how you can create the classes in one go and uh, uh, you just have to realize that these classes are exclusive classes which you encounter more and they look more of standard. Why? Because uh, in this exclusive classes uh, anybody who is of age 26 is going to fall in this second class, not in the class first. Anybody That means upper limit of the class is excluded from the class. That's why it is called as exclusive class interval. Now I'm going to count frequency. This is a little tricky thing to do. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to count up to 26 and I'm going to subtract values up to 20. So I'm going to use count if function. I'm going to uh, make it so from here onwards you can learn a little complicated uh, excel formulas so i'm going to use my count if now what i want to count look at this in age i want to count up to 25 
which is in this cell. Let me make the cell a little bigger, otherwise the formula eats up the space. Let me get rid of this. Okay, fine. Let me make it a little bigger. And let me start typing in now. Count F and H. Now what I want to count in H? I want to count the values which are less than and and is a joiner. I hope if you have a knowledge of Excel, that means whenever I am using uh, two different functions, I am joining actually a quote, less than quote with a numerical value. So whenever a text has to be joined with a numerical value, you have to use and. So if I, if I say this, so it is going to count me all the values which are less than 26, which are 37. But I don't want this. What I want is, I want this whole function uh, minus, I'm going to copy this whole formula once again, the values which are less than this particular cell. Carefully take care of the formula. It is counting me age up less, which are less than 26 and subtracting the age which is less than 20. And I hit enter, it gives me account 37. I'm going to drag and drop it down and it give, counts me all the values in one shot. Then I'm going to find out total. I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut by selecting them all and pressing Alt equals. Yes, it is perfectly fine. It is giving me a count of 300. So the biggest thing in this is you can create an exclusive class interval. It is highly dynamic. Let me change the age 53. You know, by sometimes the table changes accordingly. And uh, if you want to calculate percentage, that's not a bigger challenge. Once again, we can give a same format like I'm doing in frequency. Use format painter button. Click it here. So I'm going to give it the formula is equal to one cell to my left divided by my total. And uh, I'm going to use my F4 key because every time I'm going to divide it by total, I'm going to press enter and throw it down by double clicking into the cell. Let me give it borders also. And it is giving me value in points. So it is very simple. You just have to select all the cells, click on percentage. You can increase or decrease decibels from here. And you can further see the total in order to cross check by using your keyboard shortcut or equals and is giving me 100% calculated in round cell. You, you could have selected it up to here. So uh, that is the video guys. The important thing is to take care of this particular formula that and you just have to understand the logic. What Excel is doing it is counting age up to the entry in this particular cell which from my point of view is supposed to be 44 and then it is subtracting age which is less than 38. So something like uh, this is happening. If I am counting, then uh, let me explain it through a figure quickly. So this is this is something like this is happening, right? I'm going to pick, pick up another figure, another bar. So, uh, okay. So this is what is happening. It is counting up to 26 and then delete, delete until 20. I'm left between 20 to 26. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Let's meet on next video.